Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking my old gecko's enclosure, which is a 20 gallon tall, and I will be turning it into a polydorarium for a Cuban tree frog that I got from Florida. Now, Cuban tree frogs are highly invasive in Florida, and we found one while we were there, so I ended up keeping it, and I've been feeding it dubia roaches, and it's been doing pretty all right. It's not something that I handle, so I kind of see it whenever it comes out. But I think it's been enjoying its new closure, so now I will be showing you just that, me making the new enclosure. So first I had to touch it up, um, which means basically once I was done with it being a gecko enclosure, I went out and cleaned it and sprayed it off and got all the uh, older dirt out because I'll be putting in the water in the bottom now. So I had to re um, silicon it. So then after doing that and putting new um, dirt on, then I, well, I, I just had to, like, re-silicon it in a few places, basically. Then I went and took all the dirt out because, like I keep saying, I'm going to be putting water on the bottom. Here I am just cleaning out um, the old tank, which I don't know why I set up the camera like this. I guess I wasn't thinking. But this one you can actually see. I had to clean. Uh, my room wasn't clean yet, so I was just cleaning some stuff up. Now I'm rearranging the sticks because I didn't know exactly how I wanted them and I ended up having to cut them to get them the way that I think I wanted them. And then I start adding in the gravel and also, or the rocks and then the gravel and then some plants and soon I will start filling it up. Um, once I was done messing around with the plants at the bottom of the tank, I went up to mess with the plants at the top, and this will be the actual dirt area where the frog will probably spend most of its time in this hide up here that it's actually been using quite well, or quite a lot, which I was surprised about because normally the things that I plan on um, my animals using, they don't normally use how I expect them. But he's been sitting in that hide quite a lot. So now I'm starting to add water and... Um, that's basically it. I put a bunch of botanicals as well and kind of I was trying so, out some different methods of uh, ways to move around the water but I couldn't find any that I liked. Okay guys so now I'll be adding in the frog which will be not fun for me. I don't really like messing with the frog in any way shape or form. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be putting it into a peanut butter jar and then dropping it in because that's how I mess with the frog. Um, the frog isn't anything that I would handle ever. They release like a, a toxin type of thing um, from glands on their head and this guy jumps really far as well. And since he was, ah, geez. since he was originally wild, he's pretty crazy um, and not used to people. So just then I hope he doesn't jump out and I'm going to try to, uh, get them into a peanut butter jar, which isn't really that hard. Okay, so I have them. Here he is. Big Cuban tree frog. Or, not really big at all, but, um, you know, bigger than any frogs here. So, then, just gonna take this and try to make them jump out. Now he is a tree frog, so like all this water isn't really needed, but they are supposed to have like a water area, and um, he has a land area up top, as you saw, and then he also has all these branches and stuff, so I think this will be a good setup for him. There we go. And there he is, right there, huge frog. So... Hopefully he'll like this and be able to sit up in the branches in here and I'll get some doobie roaches in here to feed him. Okay guys, it has been a couple of days now I believe and I added some more vines to the water, just vines that were growing but they didn't have any leaves so hopefully they'll start growing. There's those two plants back there, there's a plant back there in the pot dealie. And then there's this piece of lily, which I never really mentioned in the video, but I end up planting off screen. And then there's all these botanicals. A lot of them have sank. Um, and 
I'm pretty sure all of them have actually, I haven't really looked at it, but they have, and he's been using his hide, like I said earlier, um, I think in the video that he's actually been using his hide quite a lot, and I think I'll put a dubia roach in there now to see if he'll take it right away, but um, I'll do that after the video. And then all these plants seem to be doing all right as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next video.